Thanks so much for tuning in to another real time edit. Today I'm going to do this prairie warbler that I photographed on this really beautiful flowering tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is. I really suck with that sort of identification. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go with a crop here. And I do like this one little green thing coming in there. So I think that feels pretty well balanced for me on the crop. Um, lighter because I was underexposed a little bit there. I'm going to kick the shadows up. Look at that. Kind of just bring the light into the face. Sh uh, blacks back down for contrast. Um, I can do a quick removal of that in Lightroom, so why not? And um, I'm just going to... I want to make sure I don't lose the highlight detail in those flowers, so I'm just going to drop a gradient on and just kind of pull that detail back in there. Something like that. So that looks like a good starting point. Into Photoshop I go. Hopefully. It always takes so long when I'm using this recording software. I look at that one feather really out of place there. Just noticed that. Didn't didn't catch that previously. All right. I don't think I have anything to clone on this one, which is rare for me. I usually always find something. So I guess I don't need that retouch layer. Um, boy, what else? All right, so let's zoom in here. Let's start working this bird. Let's make the catch light pop. You know, the other thing too is there's a little bit of brown along the bottom of that eye, and there we go. We'll just bring that out, enhance that. Um, man, I really don't have a lot more to do to this other than. The background, I would, I just want to make the green pop a little more there. So I'm just going to shift, you know, just a little bit more green overall. Let me try a color range selection, see how it wants to do on grabbing most of just the background for me. Yeah, it's grabbing everything else too much. So I'll, uh, I'll just manually do this. And the way I'm going to do that is just to manually paint in this green. You can see as I'm going there, it's having an effect. And I'm going to probably go over the bird, and then I'll just come back in and mask the bird out a little bit more accurately towards the end. It's a subtle green shift, so if I do overlap some of these things, it really isn't that big a deal. You're not going to be able to tell. But you can see it's just painting in a little bit more vividness and richness into that green background. That's just a little dull. To me, um, you know, some of those plants back there were really bright and green, but, you know, it was just really flat overcast lighting. And uh, so it really just kind of dulled the saturation back there, in my opinion. So, you know, me being me and not minding Photoshop, I'll just enhance it a little bit. So there we go. I'm going to stick with the soft brush and just come in here zoomed in and just make sure I paint it out of this bird because I don't want any additional green on the bird. You know, especially, thankfully this bird is kind of out in the open here, but when you're, you know, when you get these, especially yellow birds, these warblers under the canopy and there's like a lot of green light bouncing around and stuff like that, you can really get a lot of green cast on the bird. Uh, but thankfully this one doesn't seem to have that problem. Um, boy, what else can I do to enhance this? You know, really love the kind of pink accents on these flowers. So let me do that. All right. I'll add a little bit more pink color there and just really make that kind of stand out wherever it shows right in there. Some of these out of focus areas, right? These, these are subtle changes. Most people are never going to see this, especially on good old Instagram where, Everything is super tiny, but makes a difference to me. I notice it, and it just, for me, it's these little tiny details that kind of add up to make the overall image better. So from before, after, right? Not a crazy big change here. Real subtle differences. That eye pop is nice, though. I'm going to save that, but I will show you the entire original in Lightroom. Let me reset the raw file. So you can see the straight out of camera because from that, it's going to be a pretty significant difference because you, know, you can see here, I was on aperture priority with auto ISO and my camera just gave me this 
uh, stock exposure. I should have went plus a little bit. Probably all this white flowers in the foreground just kept things a little bit darker. Uh, but in any case, uh, you can see the before and after there is a nice change. You know, kind of a dull photograph. And then here we have plenty of light on the bird. You know, lots of detail. The colors and the patterns are really showing. And most importantly, the eye. Like, look how dull and dead that eye looks. But look, if I zoom in here on the original, you can see already, right? Look at that. See, there's that hint of catch light. It's there. It's not non-existent. But... Um, you know, lighten up the entire image and then enhance it in post and uh, you end up with that. And that brings this whole photo to life a little bit more. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. And uh, I'll have some more of these in the near future.